guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. And for today's video, we've got to quickly, we've got to quickly turn my car around because we are going to be doing something to the back of the car today, which is quite exciting. I'm very gassed for it. Let's turn this baby around. know already we're actually gonna be tinting the brake lights if you guys don't know um, I think this is true on the limited edition they already come tinted however they're not really um, you know very dark so we're gonna add a little bit more darkness and it's gonna add, add a little bit more spice to the car so right down here magically these things have just appeared Ooh! so we've actually got all the things that we're gonna use them for today's video to install this um, we've actually got the tint itself bloody I'm special that was 10 pound hours we've got a um, little sprayer so that we don't have to keep using our hands you know that repeated action it can cause uh repetitive strain injury so you know so before we actually got any further tint in these this is what they look like right now i haven't actually cleaned that one up because you know what we haven't got to that one yet jumping ahead of time i move straight on to tinting these lights and basically you know when you're a kid and you try to wrap christmas presents all nice just like the adults did however you realize it's almost as hard as holding in a fart when you got diarrhea basically wrapping these headlights was one of the hardest things obviously i'm a beginner with this i've never tinted things before so i basically rage quit and here's me a day or two later so honestly all that hard work all that money that i spent on that tin it i basically rage quit and threw it in a bin i mean let me show you i mean literally it's in the bin god it pissed me off tinting these headlights are really difficult because there's a contour like i don't know if you guys can see it's not just a flat surface and it's quite a big headlight as well it was really hard especially for like a beginner like me i'm so sad because i made so many puns in that video in that little bit that um you guys don't even see it <laughs> but yeah um you're probably wondering how am i going to tint them now well i've actually invested in some spray tint from hakot so basically this is actually a lens smoke paint thing i don't fucking know so pretty much the good thing about this is we can decide how um dark we want the smoke if i wanted it a little bit dark i'll just put on another coat um it's very cool i want a, a light tint because i don't want to get pulled over i still want people to be able to see my car at night and not crash into it i know it's a bright white car but some people are fucking idiots so pretty much what we've got to do is we've actually got to tape up all of the paint and then we can start spray, spray painting so i'm just going to be using um garbage bags uh to you know wrap around it and then um stick it on with sellotape and stuff like that right then so we've actually got the first rear light um all bagged up and honestly it looks like we're about, about to do bloody eye surgery or remove a testicle from the car it looks like a cyborg so i think i've done a pretty good job literally i've tucked in the plastic right behind the thing using this little spatula i've just kind of like shoved it in so we're going to do the other rear light and we're going to do like um the same amount of coats on each side so we're going to get this one bagged up and then we'll start i'm just really hoping it's not going to rain because it looks like it will so we've actually got the um rear headlights all bagged up we've also got um a protective uh, nice plastic bags there so that we don't get any overspray inside the car it's always better to spend so much time on prepping uh, making sure it won't uh, overspray rather than having to go back later and clean it up you know so we've cleaned the lights off and i've actually put the spray in here because it has to be um, it says on the instructions 25 degrees so i've just put it in some warm water just to make that um make it come out a lot nicer so i think i'm actually going to get started on tinting this thing so it's all cleaned up i've used some acid proper alcohol on it um, and i think it's all ready to go so um, let's actually start on the first coat and then we'll work on both sides at the same time so it's an even nice looking um tint let's do this i'm very excited right they can all shake up we're going to start just down here to see if it's an even yes it is make sure there's no like spitting of the paint or anything so i think we're all good <laughs> out on the rear light and honestly i think i did a little bit too thick of a coat i think i must um stand back a little bit but as you guys can see there's the first coat it actually came out quite dark already uh so that's kind of crazy so we'll put on like two or three more coats 
and we can see how it looks. So now we wait 15 minutes and then we'll go on to the second coat and I'll try and make this coat really, really light. Right, so we've done one coat of the little tint on this one and we've done two coats on here and the best way to show you guys is this so if we actually launch open my flashlight you guys can see there's reflection reflector there there you go and you can see that this one is a lot brighter It's either it's gotten really foggy or I've just gotten high from the amount of fumes I've inhaled just now. <laughs> finish on it is coming out really nice. It's more like a matte finish. Don't know if you guys can see. It's not even fucking focusing. There you go. Mm. More of a matte finish. And to be honest, it's making it a little bit foggy. There you guys go. Look at that. Right, so it's actually been like an hour and I've actually put on like three or four coats. And I don't know if you guys can see, but they are nice and dark they are not as dark as some people might want them some people probably wouldn't even want <laughs> realize i've literally tinted them just that right amount i think um where you know it's legal and also it also looks good on my car so we're gonna get all the plastic taken off and then yeah we'll see the end result probably tomorrow <laughs> Yo, that 100% looks 10 times better than before. Yo, look how dark they are. Hold on, let's pull this down. Oh, oof, that actually looks really cool. Oh my God, look at it. It looks so stealthy, man. Yo, we only put like three or four coats on. They're about equal, I think, on their coats. I think this one might be a tiny bit darker, but wow, let's actually turn on the indicators and stuff see what that looks like it's probably just gonna look like indicators but we'll have a look oh that looks nice oh my god i'm so happy i tinted them i'm so happy i tinted them they look so good that looks really really cool and the thing is even if i wanted it darker you know maybe tomorrow or another day i could put some more on but i think that is the perfect amount of tint um to not get pulled over firstly but also to make the car look sick i mean Fuck, it looks like a devil. On to the next day, and you guys can now see what it looks like in a day. And honestly, this looks like some spicy thing. Honestly, this car is starting to look like the bloody Batmobile. Without further ado, let's get out my stupid voice and let's show you guys. Come on then. So here is the rear lights tinted. Look at that, mum. Basically, uh, something that's annoying me is this one came out so dreadful. Like, if you go close up on that, mum. Mum's on the camera today, big up. If you guys can see, there's loads of like, water spots on it, so I'm gonna have to redo this one. But if we come over to this one, this one is looking banging because it is a nice flush finish. And I think the tinted rear lights, everybody told me to get these done and I was never going to get them done because I never want to get pulled over or anything. But these look fucking insane. I mean, honestly, I'm really quite sad that I didn't get these done earlier. But yeah, like I said, with this one, uh, it's come out really bad. So I'm going to have to redo that. Um, I think if I just put another layer on, um, it should look perfectly fine. I don't know if you guys can see up close, but that is going to bug the shit out of me if I don't um, do that again. Right then, a quick update on the rear light. I know I just said it looked terrible. However, I've just added another coat to it and boy, it looks fire. It literally looks just like the other one. So if we come over to the other one, this was the one that looked perfect. And then this one is the one that looks horrible. So. Um, it's now, I've added another coat and it looks perfect. So yeah, those are my headlights all tinted now. Um, I think I'm such a big fan of it, honestly. Um, 
definitely would recommend that spray. It's literally like £10. It's so easy to install. If you get a little bit on your paint, this is what I did. I've used a little bit of white spirit to get it off and it comes off so easy. All I would say is don't be an idiot and basically leave um, it out in the rain to dry because it will end up looking like this. For this one, literally all I did was I stuck um, a Tesco bag over it um, and it came out literally splendid. Mm. I would like a cocktail with that. That looks beautiful. The finish on this is gorgeous and look at this my guy little spider out here there you go what do you think of it mate what do you think of it but yeah honestly such a big fan of these uh, the way that these turned out honestly look at them they actually do look so nice um we're starting to do more things to the back of the car we've got a spoiler extension coming um still looking for a diffuser guys i don't don't know if you guys um can find one for me let me quickly show you guys what the brake lights look like Ta-da! Once again guys, let me know what you guys think of these uh this mod, I think it looks so sexy, honestly. And I don't think they're tinted enough to get pulled over. And um, that is my main concern about tinting uh, lights. You can still see the indicators, let me quickly go turn them on. Voila! Uh there you go. Still, um you can notice them. That is what you want on indicators. Definitely a mod that I'd recommend. It's super damn easy. Literally just bag it up, spray it. And even if uh, you want to do better than this, um, you take the headlight out. So yeah, unfortunately that is the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, watching me tint my brake lights. Unfortunately, the film tint didn't work. It was just too damn hard. But luckily I found that uh, spray tint, which is I would honestly recommend that a hundred times again. So overall, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy uh, watching me tint my rear lights once again. Um, if you guys are new, subscribe if you are new. God, I'm so bad at English. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. And subscribe if you are new. I've already fucking said that, honestly. I should not be at YouTube. I shouldn't. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.